here I was. I found the hole going into the chicken pen. Sorry, chickens. But um, he was like, oh my, there's a coon. He's going to eat the chickens. And so we go up to a local hardware store. And uh, I saw this trap right up there on top shelf. I was like, well, that looks, I guess it's the only one I have. So I guess we got to get it. And uh, so I bought it, brought it to the house. So that's my window right up there. It's my, off my room. And chicken, shut up. I'm trying to tell a story here. But um, I'd set it right down here, around the chicken coop, maybe around this pole. And um, I would look out the window every morning, see if I had something. And like, first night, I think it was first night, I was like, dude, I got a big coon. So I run down here, all excited, and I was like, hey dad, I got me a big coon. He's like, oh yeah, shoot it. Okay, I'll shoot it. So uh, kill that, reset the trap. I got one the next day, and the next, and the next. And then, I think on day five, I caught a possum. It, ma it made me so happy to catch my first possum. Like, it surprises me now on how happy I was to catch a daggum possum. And uh, so I caught like four or five coons before I ever caught a possum. And um, it just, I don't know, I just had fun with it. And um, then after, you know, catch the possum, I start trapping a little ways away from the pen, like, so about 200 yards that way, so there's a big old hedge bush in the way, and a lot of old pea bags in here, but about 200 yards down that way, maybe not that many, nah, probably like 100, yeah, now I think about it, it's like 100, but down that way, there is a little stream that runs down, and uh, set the trap. At this time, it's the only one I have. I had one at that time. Now I have what? Like, I don't know. I go have I have to watch back the footage or go count them in a minute. But we'll probably have like 11, 12 ish, something like that. Anywhere between 10 and 13. So, and uh, you know, one trap it gets it done, especially if it's a cage, because you can pretty much catch coons, possum, cats, that kind of category, skunks in cages really really easy and uh, so it's walking down the road it's over here i just look off down and see if i had anything if i didn't i just walk back up but i had a coon so killed it set it again i had another coon the next day like i don't remember why i remember this so good but the next day i didn't have anything i was like well maybe i called him out well i come down the next day and i have another one and so on, so on, so on. I've probably caught 40 coons on my property. So, uh, yeah, that's a, quite a few, you know. And um, we still got more. I got at least one more that I've had on camera. So I've had three of them on camera. I caught two of them. One of them is in the last video. And uh, one of them has been a few months, actually. And, um, yeah, we get our net. My next target is going to be that coon because they kill my chickens, they eat my corn. Y'all know what coons do. Coons are disruptive. They eat your cat feed, they eat your dog feed, they eat your cats, pretty much anything. I mean, they're very not picky. So, I mean, I've seen people catch them on honey, bun honey buns, and like you can go shoot a squirrel out of these woods. Like, I've seen a lot. You can throw it in the trap and you can catch a coon pretty easy, and like, um. Yeah, that's about, about my story. I gotta have to edit this video down because it's gonna be very long. That's why I'm talking so fast, but um, yeah, that's about it. And then after I kept catching coons, I just got hooked on trapping. And then uh, I invested in some steel traps. And like I called the dude, I was like, hey man, I wanna catch me some coyotes. He was like, okay, here, uh, this is what, I, what works best for me. And uh, bobcats because he was from, I think that was Minnesota brand I talked to, I don't remember. But you know, then up in the north, they have a lot more bobcats than they have down here in uh, North Alabama. So next thing you know, I got me some of them MB 550s. I actually about three of them. I only have two of them now because I lost one. I don't know what happened to it. There, who knows, there could have been a big old coyote step in it and run away with it. It's possible, I don't know what happened to it. It could be just sitting in the same place I. I lost that, but um, 
but no joke, two weeks later, I have no idea what I'm doing with my steel traps. I throw it out there, put some leaves over it, throw some cat feed over it, which is not what you're supposed to do. So unless you're trying to catch coons, which I've done that before, because um, coons like cat feed a lot, and they'll just walk around picking it up, and they'll eventually step in it, you know. And, um, yeah, they, coons are not picky at all. So, but anyway, I catch a fox. A little bitty thing. Um, I still got the, the tail of it right now sitting in my room. But um, it was a gray fox. It wasn't big at all. I, got, I do believe that it was running from coyotes because when I got there, um, it had bite marks all in its neck. I don't think it was there to eat the cat food. Never had, uh, I stuck my camera on several of my traps. Never had any uh, fox come over and try to eat the cat feed out of my traps. Never caught a fox in my cage traps. So, so yeah, um, fox definitely don't eat cat feed that I know about. And, I mean, if you've had luck catching a fox on dog feed, cat feed, let me know down in the comments. Let me know your ways of trapping because I'm here to learn. I want to catch everything that walks around here. I haven't caught a coyote yet. We don't have super tan on the property. I've had my camera out for like six months. I only had one coyote on. And it was back there, probably like 300 yards, something like that. But, um, I mean, just one. It kind of surprised me because, uh, you know, whenever I got that fox, it was destroyed. And um, then I caught the one fox a few months ago down on the creek. Y'all, I'm sure y'all have seen that video. For some reason, YouTube stuck me with the copyright. I don't know what this copyright. I didn't play any music or take anything from anybody else or anything. But they stuck me with copyright for it. But I didn't delete it just because I uh, wanted y'all see that video. And you know, it was a, the only red fox on the channel. But we have, well, no, on my camera, I got one red fox one gray fox and then i saw a little bitty gray fox the other day just ride my bike up the road and he just walks right out in front of me but um yeah that was that was pretty cool so, uh, yeah i guess that about sums me up for trapping so uh yep that's about my story of trapping and ever since then I, you know, I've bought new traps thrown old traps away I accidentally ran over one but we don't talk about that that was actually my only good trap I had it was the little giant that I actually started with made me kind of sad because I called an armadillo in it you can watch the video I didn't show the running over it part but I didn't didn't really know about it till I got back but anyway